$105,000 for a nickel coin. Can you believe it? Well, in this video, we're going over some incredibly rare coins that sold for a lot of money online. What you need to look out for if you find one and what to do with them if you want to sell it. Without wasting any more time, let's just hop right into this video, get straight to the point. So this coin right here sold for $2,500 on eBay. Now this is a 2005, the seller is calling it a rare Indian head buffalo coin. And if you look at the back of the coin, you do see that there is a buffalo there. However, in our opinion, this coin is not worth this much money. What you'll see on eBay sometimes is a seller, especially like this one with zero feedback, they will either intentionally or unintentionally try to sell a coin for too much money. And unfortunately, what happens sometimes is a buyer will get scammed. Now, we hope that that is not the case in this specific instance. However, it is possible. This coin is not worth $2,500, but that's what it did sell for on eBay. Here's a coin coin that sold for $2,495. This is a 1969 S proof Jefferson nickel graded by PCGS at a proof 68. So what is a proof coin? Well, proof coins were made specifically for collections and they look different. Here's an example of what a proof versus a business strike coin looks like. You'll see the backdrop or the field of the coin is going to look much more shiny and lustrous. That's the biggest takeaway there. This coin only graded two points away from the perfect grade of 70 at the 68 grade. And that's really why this coin sold for $2,495. Here's a cool one. This is a 1942D 5 cent Jefferson nickel graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 with the full steps on the back. If you look at the back center of the coin, you're going to see Monticello and above Monticello, you're going to see some full steps. Now those full steps are the highest point on the coin. They get worn down the quickest and they're the hardest to strike. So collectors really like coins with full steps. Keep this in mind. Full stepped coins do not matter unless it is a mint state uncirculated coin. So if you have a pretty beat up coin, but it has those full steps, it doesn't really matter. Another big factor here is the fact that the mint mark on the back right hand side is a D over horizontal D. You might need some magnification here, so look closely. This is a mint variety where this should have never happened. Essentially, this is a D over horizontal D, and all these things combined allowed it to sell for $17,825. This 1938 coin sold for $33,600, and it's because it's a PCGS graded mint state 68 plus with the full steps on the back. So we know what the full steps on the back are. We already went over that, but this is a mint state 68 plus. That plus means that it was graded by a grader and they thought the coin looked really nice. So they gave it a small little plus designation. It may seem silly, but that plus grade can mean the difference of a ton of money. Another factor I want to point out here is the toning. That is essentially the color of the coin. Toning is a naturally occurring oxidation process that happens where the the coin will oxidize with the air, causing this look. Sometimes toning can either positively or negatively impact the value of the coin. It really comes down to what the collector wants and what they think looks cool. They really like this one because again, it sold for $33,600. Here's the coin that sold for $105,000. Now this is a genuine 1916 five cent United States coin. Now a lot of us are familiar with these bison nickels, but the reason why this one is so specifically rare is because because it was graded by NGC at a mint state 63, and it is a doubled die obverse. So if you look down at the date there, you can see there's some very clear doubling occurring. This is a very rare mint variety, and if you have one, you've hit the mother load because $105,000 for this nickel. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.